Hello everybody, I'm Bestina Tulumbanua. I'm a student of Faculty of Letters of Universitas Methodist in Indonesia. And in this video, I want to show you an academic paragraph. You know everybody, the first thing that appears in an academic paragraph is topic sentence. And we have to know that topic sentence is a sentence that contains the main idea of a paragraph. And in the topic sentence, there are three main parts subject, verb, and controlling idea. So the topic sentence of my paragraph is, there are some advantages of reading books. If we criticize this topic sentence, there in this topic sentence is subject, are in this topic sentence is verb, and some advantages of reading books in this topic sentences is controlling idea. And we have to know that controlling idea is the most important things in topic sentence because controlling idea is the reference in the following uh, paragraph and in this paragraph I write some supporting sentences which support controlling idea on the topic sentence so the first supporting sentence in this paragraph is the first advantage is that by reading books someone can improve his ability to speak and what will develop the supporting sentence is developing sentence. So we can see that there are two developing sentences in the first supporting sentence. The first is, when someone reads a book, someone can find a lot of new vocabulary that has never been heard or read before. And the second is, so when someone gets used to reading books over time, he will be able to improve his ability to speak fluently. And then, in the second supporting sentence in this paragraph is The second advantage is that by reading books, someone can improve their memory So, in the second supporting sentence, there are two developing sentences The first is, by reading book, of course, it will make someone think about what is meant by the contents of the book and the second is, so this is what make curiosity and someone will think critically about the book. And then, if we look at the third supporting sentence in this paragraph, the last advantage by reading books, someone can improve his writing skills. In this third supporting sentence, there are also two developing sentences which explain the supporting sentence. The first is, for example, when someone has the habit of reading books, of course, they will have a broader knowledge. And the second, so if someone is knowledgeable, of course, it will make it easier for him to write. Okay, so if we look back as a whole, there are three sentences marked as gray in this paragraph called the supporting sentence against the topic sentence. Okay, guys. So, in the first supporting sentence, it is stated that by reading books, someone can improve his ability to speak. So, we can see that it is true by reading books can improve speaking ability. So, we can prove that improve the ability to speak in the first supporting sentence can support the topic sentence in controlling idea. Some advantages of reading books. Okay, and then in the second uh, supporting sentence too, we can see that by reading books, someone can improve their memory. Can improve their memory in the second supporting sentence is the advantage of reading books. So we can prove that improve uh, their memory can support the topic sentences in controlling idea. Okay, and the next. Uh, in the third supporting sentence, there is a sentence that states that by reading books, someone can improve his writing skills. So we can prove that improve the writing skills can support the topic sentence on controlling idea. And also, it will turn out that there are three supporting sentences in this paragraph. And in the end, we go to concluding sentences. We have to know that the concluding sentence in a paragraph is the sentence in a paragraph 
uh, the result of the conclusion of the contents of a paragraph. Or we can say that the concluding sentence is a sentence that has the same purpose as the topic sentence, but has a different way of conveying. So guys, thank you so much for watching and for your attention, especially to my lecture, Dr. Esran Ambarita. Thank you so much. And I hope this video can give a benefit to you all, especially for students who take writing courses. See you guys.